Florida lawmaker has filed a bill that would require prescriptions for certain sunscreen products that environmentalists say can hurt coral reefs. This comes as the sunscreen debate really heats up this week with Key West commissioners voting to ban the sale of sunscreens that contain certain chemicals. And now Alex Hagan is live for us in Jupiter looking into how this could affect all of us. Alex. Well, Shannon, I have sunscreen right here, and actually this sunscreen contains one of those two chemicals we're talking about. I'm not sure if you can make this out, but here on the back of the can where the label is, where the ingredients are, you can see oxybenzone. That is one of those two chemicals we're talking about that studies show scientists say from coral reefs all the way from Martin County, all the way down south to the Florida Keys, harming those reefs. We're talking about those two chemicals now, and that bill you mentioned filed by Orlando Senator Linda Stewart, uh, prohibits the sale of sunscreen products containing oxybenzone or octanoxate for consumers that don't have a prescription. Now, the bill states those chemicals cause damage to coral and increase coral bleaching. Now, we've told you that our coral reef system, I mentioned from Martin County all the way down the Keys, has been struggling with disease over the years. And we did speak with a conservationist from the Nature Conservancy who pushed for the ban down in Key West. Can, at certain concentrations, kill coral. So, and if they're not killing them, they're likely causing them to be potentially less reproductively active. Now, not everyone actually supports these bans on these two chemicals, these sunscreen bans. We're going to touch on that all new at 530 tonight. Reporting live in Jupiter, I'm Alex Hagan for The Now, South Florida.